Okay, we're going to call Karen Conkle, and she's with Southeastern Guide Dogs. Hello, Karen. Hi, Donna. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. It's great to see you. <laughs> it's nice to see you as well. We have a common friend, Marcos, and he was yes. telling me all about Southeastern Guide Dogs. How did that be uh, begin for you, Karen? Well, Southeastern Guide Dogs began for me in 2009 when I was a member of an all-female motorcycle group called the Diva Angels, and we selected Southeastern Guide Dogs as our charity to support, so we did fundraising for them and just fell in love with the organization and the mission. And then in 2014, I had a dream that I was supposed to raise a puppy for Southeastern Guide Dogs, even though I'd never had a puppy in my life. But I followed that dream and applied, and it was the best life-changing experience that I've ever had. Now he's an ambassador. He's with me today, an ambassador for Southeastern Guide Dogs. And then in 2017, I retired. We sold our company, retired, and they offered me a job. So I thought, what better way to see Southeastern and support it but from the inside? And it's been tremendous. What For our audience, what do guide dogs do? Oh, guide dogs, they learn about 40 uh, cues and skills. And what they do is they keep, first of all, their handler safe. They know obedience um, skills and directional skills and cues. They can help them find their way around uh, whatever they want to do. They can help them if they get lost or confused, find the exit. Um, the guide dogs have an exceptional skill called what we call intelligent disobedience, which they, where they will actually disobey the command of the handler if it's not safe for them. So say they come to a traffic stop and the handler says forward, um, the dog doesn't move with all the quiet cars. Sometimes there's a car coming, there might be a bicycle, there might be an obstacle. So now the person, the handler finds out, okay, what's going on here where the dog knows it's unsafe for me? Say an elevator door opens and the elevator's not there or there's something impeding their way that normally would be safe for them, the dog's going to lead them around that. And then also what dogs do naturally is they bring people towards you where a cane can many times keep people away from you. A dog draws people to you so that you can have better relationships and go places they serve to bring hope, independence, and of course, unconditional love. I can never de deny the unconditional love of a dog. With a motorcyclist, it's very similar too, right? I mean, it's like a brotherhood and a sisterhood, right? So, Absolutely. So I see a lot of correlations there. Did you, uh, when you were growing up, did you have a dog? No. Yeah, that's what you said. You didn't know anything about it, right? But now yeah. it seems like you know quite a lot. So they how is how, scratch? I was a I was a blank slate. <laughs> so now you are um, a caregiver and you are raising a guide dog. Are there certain breeds that make better guide dogs than others? Well, for ours, we raise and train. We breed, raise and train Labradors, and that okay. works best for us. They're very biddable. They'll do anything for food. They'll love the one that they're with. And so they worked tremendously for us at Southeastern Guide Dogs. Now, I know that there's a huge fundraiser that's coming up for you, um, Samantha's. Let's talk about that. Well, Samantha's friends, I met them when I was a volunteer back uh, six years ago. And I thought it was such an interesting fundraiser, even though I do admit I didn't know who any of the actors were. I'd never seen them on, on Days of Our Lives. Um, but it, I just fell in love with Samantha and Alice Boza and their story and the mission that they have to help others and always pay it forward. So then when I started working there, I became their, like their personal concierge. And we worked together in a partnership where they've allowed me a little bit more leeway to share more about our mission. And then what I've come to love about both them and the actors is getting to know them as people. I don't know them as actors at all, but I know them as people now. They are so supportive and tremendous and entertaining. And um, it's just been a great relationship that I hope goes on for years and years. This will be our sixth year of Samantha's events. We have one coming up May 14th and 15th, and each one has a theme. 
This one is Casino Royale, so it's going to be kind of a James Bond theme where the actors, we're going to have nine actors there this year, and they're going to be doing a lot of skits, and it's very entertaining. And then I'll have some speakers so that we can actually share what we do at Southeastern from a more personal level. And maybe this year, Karen, will even cast you in something. You just never know. I do you get just... up there and, and speak <laughs> Levi, if, you know, Levi's the, everybody loves Levi. <laughs> Um, and I'm so just you, this Uber driver. If he had thumbs and could speak, there'd be no need for me. <laughs> it would just be all about your guide dog, right? Well, thank you for spending a little time with us from sunny Florida. We wish you continued success in your journey. Oh, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for letting us share about Samantha's friends and Southeastern guide dogs. Thank you, Karen. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Southeastern Guide Dogs began in 1982 with a single vision to help those who cannot see. Humble Beginnings meant a farmhouse, three dogs, a single trainer, and one small step at a time. Because of our community of supporters, we now operate the most advanced training facilities of any service dog organization in the world. And we employ some of the most talented and innovative scientists and trainers in the working dog industry. Our experts train dogs of the highest pedigree for people with vision loss, veterans with disabilities, and children with significant challenges, such as vision loss or the loss of a parent in the military. It takes two years to raise and train each dog. And it all begins with the puppies born in our Puppy Academy. But these are no ordinary puppies because we're creating the Olympic athletes of the service dog world. We combine art and science to create the healthiest, smartest dogs through our data-driven genetics and reproduction program. We start training our puppies when they are just days old, and every puppy receives a targeted, individualized education plan. At 10 weeks, the second phase of training begins, as we send our puppies home with volunteer puppy raisers to learn basic obedience, house manners, and socialization. We rely on about 300 puppy raisers in seven states who return our pups in about a year for their college education. At Freshman Orientation, our animal behavior experts evaluate confidence and temperament, while our veterinarians evaluate hips, elbows, hearts, eyes, and overall health. Only dogs with the best health become working dogs. Our veterinary facilities rival top animal hospitals in the world, and we've taken veterinary care to a rare new level by merging the best of Eastern and Western medicine. At Canine University, our dogs begin college level training to learn advanced skills for their future careers. After their training is complete, our dogs are ready to meet their new partners. Our trainers match each dog with the right recipient according to needs, lifestyle, pace, personality, and activity level. Once we create a strong match, we invite qualified applicants to join a class. It's the human's turn to learn how to work confidently with their dogs. While in class, students live in private guest rooms and enjoy delicious meals in our full-service dining hall. After a busy schedule of hands-on learning, class lectures, and plenty of practice in nearby cities, students are ready to take on the world. We follow up with our teams for life, ensuring their ongoing success. Creating these human-dog connections is a big team effort. 
We care for over 1,000 dogs and support over 550 active teams. And all of our services are provided at no cost to recipients. We rely 100% on private donations and receive no government funding. And because of people like you, we give our dogs as gifts. Gifts of freedom, independence, confidence, courage, and hope. We invite you to share our vision and tap into the heart and passion that it takes to make a difference for people who cannot see and for those who have seen too much. Welcome to Southeastern Guide Dogs.